How you doing today, guys? Uh, today I am going to be doing my first uh, unboxing video or unwrapping video. Uh, I was working on my Bobcat about a month ago and I was trying to get to a bolt that was in a really awkward spot and I couldn't get my wrench in. So uh, after fighting with the thing for like 10 or 15 minutes, I went online to see if there was a better solution and uh, I ended up purchasing uh, the gear wrench 120 XP. Can you see that? Gear wrench 120 XP set. The part number is 86142. It's supposed to need very little space to ratchet, but it's also got a very long handle, so when you need to break things free, you can break them free well. And also that long handle is supposed to help, you know, to get into awkward spots. My thought with these guys was these are my awkward spot wrenches, not my daily use wrenches. And I really hope that they solve this one situation that I was, uh, I was having trouble with. But let's, uh, let's open the plastic. And they'll never see the case again. I'll leave them hanging on the wall or something. But uh, there is your, there is your set of 10 wrenches right there for you. I just want to show you, that's the three quarter, and this is a, this is a long wrench. This is my three quarter wrench I got uh, probably, uh, I'd have to say late 80s, early 90s, I got like a 400 piece Craftsman set, which this, this wrench set has done very well for me. And then these, are the, these aren't gear wrenches, this is Craftsman, but it's the same idea wrench. Uh, and that's a three quarter. And this three quarter wrench is literally from end to end, a touch over 18 inches long. There's a one quarter of the XP size, and then there's my one quarter for my old Craftsman set. Before we go outside and, and try to uh, fix something with these wrenches, I just want to go through the, uh, the reason you would buy an XP. And, and again, this is, uh, this is the wrench right in front of my face, but uh, this wrench is literally 18 inches long. So what you've got is you've got a long wrench, which is going to give you good torque for breaking things free. You can dip it in, uh, you know, if you have something that's hard to reach. And then on this side, it's got the flex head, which is something I've never had a set of wrenches with a flex head. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna like it. But that was where I, I wanted these guys um, with the flex head because where I'm working, I need to tighten something like this and, and the regular wrench wasn't working out. Now the other advantage that these guys have is they have very fine teeth. But the idea here is, is uh, you don't need much space, which if you're if you're really far into the engine bay and you're trying to tighten something, you're not gonna have a lot of space. These guys on the ratcheting end, there's no adjuster, there's no flick. You don't flick anything here to change the way, you just have to turn the wrench over. So if you were, if you were let's see, that would be loose, that would be tightened. So you just have to flip the wrench if you wanna tighten or loosen. You don't move a, you know, a, a little lever like in a ratchet. Now I kind of like that, it's the keep it simple philosophy and I will admit I'm, I'm pretty darn sure that every time I use these wrenches I'll have to take a moment and figure out which way to go. Um, but I just want to point out that this does not have the, the selector and I, I think they do make some uh, where you can get that selector. Both of the bolts that hold the cab on are three quarters. This is a great chance to, uh, to give the wrench a try. That's tightened. I will say initially that there's a lot of, there's a lot of swing involved in tightening that bolt. As the arms go up, watch this orange thing right here. As the cylinder comes back, 
it's gonna drop down and lock the cylinder up so I don't have to worry about this thing falling on me. Then you're supposed to put the pin back to make sure that doesn't come off. Then we can just lift the cab up. And you wanna make sure that this piece here clicks in and locks the cab up. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky to show you, but this is the reason I got the, uh, the XL wrenches. So we're in the Bobcat, we're underneath the cab, and there is a bolt. I'll go slowly down. There is a bolt. Right there. I got the wrench under there and I put some torque on it, but I couldn't get quite as much as I wanted. And that is a three-quarter inch bolt. It's going, it's going under and up through. And I'm not going to take it off because it was a bear to get on. But all you're going to probably see is me just stretching under there. But if I can get this, uh, this XL wrench in there and just give that another half a turn or so, uh, I'm going to be a happy camper because that means it's not going to come off again down the road. Starting to feel some resistance. There we go, okay, we're tightening. And I'm feeling resistance. And I just gotta keep a little bit of tension on it. So we're gonna move it up. See if we can get it on there. It's definitely on. If I just keep pulling up and push, it should tighten. Yeah, it's kind of slipping off now. Maybe it's as tight as it wants to go with, uh, with the length of this ratchet. I mean, I'm sure I'm putting some pretty good torque. We'll just give this one more go, and then after that, we'll just say, you know what? I must have really, uh, really had it as tight as it goes, and she's good. Yeah, that's, that's all she wants to give, folks. So we're gonna call that a day. The other situation I wanted to show you guys where I got these, uh, these XL gear wrenches for is when I adjusted the, uh, the alternator on this Bobcat, the alternator is way back in here. And with the gear wrench XL, it's gonna be infinitely easier to loosen and tighten that bolt. For you guys that are wondering if you need this wrench or not, if you've got awkward stuff like that, the gear wrench XL would be a sweet solution. I always like to just kind of check and make sure I didn't leave any tools sitting on the machine before I close it up because uh, I don't think I've done it yet, but I don't want that day to ever come. We're going to lower the seat first and push this bar, making sure we're not under it and we can bring this down. Then you've got your little plate you put on there and your lock nut. Tighten it by hand until we can't tighten anymore. Make sure we're going the right direction. Snug but not ridiculous. This handle, it just, it just feels huge as I'm doing this. I'm not sure I'd use these for everyday stuff, but boy, it's sure handy. So that was our initial uh, little test with our uh, 120 XP uh, ratchet. And my imp initial impressions are, you know, I, I love the tool. For what I was trying to do, it was absolutely the right tool to have. I think that these guys are going to get you out of some tough situations. But the size and, and the weight of this thing, uh, you're not going to use this as your daily, your daily use wrench. This is going to be just for special situations. 
But, uh, you know, if you're cursing, if your wife came out of the house because you were cursing so much that she told you to knock it off because the kids are home and you want to get something that's going to get the job done, uh, this, is, this is the way to go. Now, I will say this is the first time I've ever had a flex head ratchet. And the first set I got, I got a set. This was a pretty reasonable set. I got this one at Sears for under 60 bucks. Same idea, shorter. But I think a flex head, if, if you're going to buy gear wrenches, uh, I think a flex head is definitely the way to go. I guess times have changed. I don't know, my original Craftsman tools had this kind of, it looks like it's sandblasted and now everybody's doing polished. Uh, polished is fancy, but sandblasted would be easier to hold on to, right? Gear wrench, 120 XP. Good wrench, great for tough spots, not for daily use. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you soon. Take care. It just seems like it's a total game changer. I wonder if that would make a difference if I use a different angle. So now I got a little bit different angle. I don't like that angle. I think it was better straight.